Hey guys, I am not a makeup artist, but I want to be able to show you guys my routine on how I do my makeup. I got a lot of questions here and there asking, people asking, so I want to just go ahead and share my routine. So here we go. So that's basically the first thing I'm using is these Dollar Tree facial wipes. Um, I'm kind of always use this. Um, before applying my makeup just to feel refreshed these makeup wipes are they do the job so do that um, I use Mario but I skew his facial spray it's so refreshing I always use it before I do my makeup I am using an edge brush and my LA splash to fill in my eyebrows I literally had that thing for over a year um, LA Splash, you can actually get off of Amazon. Um, it's not too expensive, but like I said, I've had it for over a year and I use it to fill my brows. My brows actually really needed to be waxed <laughs> before this video, but I had to go to a wedding anyway, so I was just like, I just I know I can feel my eyebrows in good so that's why I just did it The good thing about the makeup wipes is basically they come in handy like if you make a mistake. But that's what it's there for. <laughs> so I kind of use it for multi purpose. I use it to clean my brushes before I do my makeup. And um, you know, not a deep clean. So I'm using my concealer. This is um, LA Girl in the color Fawn. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know about this. That's a real throwback, but I'm using this to fill. I mean, I'm using this to, um, oh my God, I'm using this to clean up my eyebrows. I'm just gonna give it that clean, that clean look. But this takes a lot of practice, especially when your eyebrows is looking crazy, like natural, like my eyebrows are terrible that day. I'm going to do the other eye. I don't know, I feel like I always be having trouble like with one I, well, what's, with one side of my face, it always gives me some type of trouble when doing my makeup, but I manage. I really like the shape of my eyebrows. I like the arch look, so um, Jenny, she waxes my eyebrows and top nails. So this is um, Tarte. I really love this primer. It does the job, but there is a better primer than this, but this is a 
primer that will last me for a good few hours. This is my um, eyeshadow primer by um, NYX. I barely use this stuff. I just decided to use it today, to be honest with you. But I barely use it because I barely do my eyeshadow. So, like, it's rare I do my eyeshadow. But I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Like, it's annoying how many eyeshadow palettes I have and I probably only do eyeshadow like two times out of the month. Isn't that sad? Wow. So yeah. <laughs> and in this moment, I have no idea what I really wanted to do with my eyeshadow. Like I had no idea like what look I was going for or anything. Like I said, I was going to a wedding after this, so yeah. The eyeshadow I chose to use was Juvia's Place. Um, I got a really good deal on it from Ulta, so that's why I got it. The quality in her palette um, seemed really good. Like, I love the quality in her palette. I didn't have to do much to, you know, get that desired look. I was going for a smoky eye in the moment, so it did the job. It did the damn thing. Look, I'm like really trying to learn with this eyeshadow stuff. I'm no pro when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm good when it comes to a natural little beat, but eyeshadow is just it ain't for everybody son it ain't for everybody but I'm trying <laughs> cause I paid for the stuff so I ain't got no choice but to try So here, I'm doing like, not a full cut crease, but not an exact cut crease, but an illusion of a cut crease. <laughs> like, it's really an illusion. Like, I didn't really care for it to be too cut cut. Like, I just needed it to blend with my smoky eye, and it did that, so, yay. And for that little cut crease thing, all I did was apply more of the NYX um, primer, eyeshadow primer. And I just put Juvia's Place eyeshadow on top. And the color I desired. And that was that. So this right here, I love this stuff. This is the NYX, um, the black gel. I love this for my eyeliner. Like, it does what I want it to do. I use an angle brush with it, but it does what I want it to do. I can get that nice wing that I want. There's my angle brush that I use. But I get the nice wing that I want, and I'm good. I usually, the best way to get a good wing is using tape. I did not use tape in this video, um, only because I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create a wing if you have the right products. So I just did a simple, not a long wing, but I just did a simple little wing. 
but I just love it because it's such an easy application. I love this stuff. And they have a white one too, so sometimes I use the white one underneath my eyes if I'm doing like a dramatic makeup look and I want my eyes to pop. So yes, I'm using Fenty, honey. I love Fenty foundation. I'm using a flat brush. I love using Fenty foundation. Like, when I say her foundation is the truth, like Rihanna really knew what she was doing. Like, I love Fenty. It's the bomb. It's the bomb.com. And I've had this. Fenty really lasts me uh, probably about a good six months. I probably only buy Fenty twice a year. And that's it. And I love that. And be in mind, I do my makeup probably two to three times out of the week. And her foundation lasts me that long. So I'm sad. I'm a satisfied customer. Like, I love her foundation. I have yet to try her concealers. But I'll get to it when I get to it. Trey, do something else. Now, for my concealer, this is um, Morphe. Morphe, I don't know if they just came up with this product, but I had a friend to tell me to try them. It's like a dupe of um, Tarte Shape Tape, and I love Tarte Shape Tape. Like, that stuff is so expensive. It's like $30. But Morphe's concealer is 8 So I found my match um, that was Tarte. I went to Ulta and I swatched them both on my hand to see which ones matched and I found my match in Morphe. I love Morphe concealer. Like, it's the bomb.com. This is Fenty um, baking powder. Baking powder in the color honey so i was told right after you do your concealer you need to put the powder right right afterwards so basically i have a bad like creasing like under my eyes sometimes when it comes to makeup but that powder is supposed to seal it so it doesn't happen you know so quickly or whatever it's supposed to like hold it so it's actually been working, but I have to put that powder on like as soon as I finish blending out that concealer, like right away. <laughs> and I always do that. So some people might think it's weird, but I'm gonna listen to the makeup artist, honey, because it's been helping me since, since then. So there we go with the powder. And like I said, my color is honey. Um, actually, her powder has lasted me so long. Like, I've had her powder for about seven months now. Like, I don't know. Rihanna just, I love it. Like, she ain't stingy with the product, honey. Because I'm telling you, like, stuff like Shape Tape and Tarte and stuff like that, I be having to buy that stuff, like, every three months. This is a great $9 investment that Morphe dog, like, it really is a great $9 investment. I'm not disappointed. And I bought two just in case they decided to raise the price. So I should be good for a good six months. <laughs> Probably longer than that. I also like the fact that it's mattifying. Um, and it doesn't dry too quickly on my face. Like, shape tape, it will dry, like, super, super, super fast. But Morphe doesn't dry super fast. I can blend it, you know, and have enough time to blend it how I want to. So, I'm using Morphe again. I'm using this for my contour. Now 
I'm using some random lashes from the hair store and um, Tarte's eyelash glue. This eyelash glue is the truth. Like I went from using hair glue to this eyelash glue. This eyelash glue really lasts like all day long. Like I've never had an issue with this eyelash glue. I love it. It's it's amazing and I definitely will pay my little $10, 12 dollars however much it costs for it. Um so yeah they that's the best eyelash glue I've ever had is Tarte eyelash glue and I get it in black I don't like white um eyelash glue because I don't know I just don't I just like the black I like it I like it when it dries black I use tweezers to put on my eyelashes it's so easy to me I got a little sum on my little glue on my bottom thing but it's so easy to me because it just holds the lash and all I have to do is plop it right there on top of my lash and line it up. That's it. I feel like using my fingers is a little bit hard, especially because of my nails. But these tweezers, they help me out a lot. See how easy it See? Hold on. <laughs> I had to get my grip together. That's all I did, y'all, was plop it right on in the stage. Now I just gotta line it up. That don't will stay all day long, all day. I love that eyelash glue. I'm using Better Than Sex mascara just to blend my regular lashes with my thick ones. For my highlight, I'm using Makeup Hux, um highlighter. I think this is the color peach. Um, but actually, this is a, uh, uh, I don't know what to call her. She's my friend's friend. So I guess she's like an associate of mine. She has her own makeup line. Her makeup line is thebomb.com. So I will post a link below of her website. But her highlight though, like, is the truth. And it lasts a long time. So I love using All Nighter by Urban Decay for my setting spray. Um, I actually apply a little bit on it to my highlighter brush and I'm going to dip my brush into my highlighter and do that first. I don't spray a lot on the brush just like one pump is fine. I like all that glitter and then I spray my whole face. It's gonna dry. <laughs> I got a fan right there. So after I do that, I dip my brush again and I add a little bit more highlight to make the highlight pop. You see that? You see it popping? You see it popping? See it popping? See it popping? That highlight is the truth. And like, she has a lot of product in her items as well. And she has a good price point. So I will definitely leave that link below. Like, this highlighter, like, I love it. I, actually, I do love Fenty's highlighter too, but that was the highlighter. After I do that, I do another setting spray of Morphe, just to top it off. I love Morphe's setting spray, it's so lightweight. So for my lip liner, I use Sephora in the color Molasses. This is the best brown lip liner I've ever come across of. I cannot find a dupe for it, I cannot find nothing better. It is the best lip liner ever, especially for like my complexion. Like I can use any lipstick with this, any lipstick. So I suggest getting that. This is a lipstick by Sephora. It's a liquid matte lip lipstick. So it goes on as a liquid and it dries matte. I actually just bought that. So I just wanted to try out the color which it's like a whole natural tone color. I think this is new actually. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Sephora's nude in the middle, just to give it that little ombre effect. I won't get too much ombre effect, but it did what I wanted it to do. 
<laughs> oh, I'm too much. I'm too hype. My face is beat to the gauze, honey. No, it's simple and easy. So I added my wig. Okay, my wig on. Okay. <laughs> Put the wig on. Gotta make sure I'm straight. Thank I mean, you guys you so much for both. watching. I, you know, you can juggle both. I have both. 